guys, it's Sharon with Little Britain Company, and um, yep, still working on the craft room. It is actually almost done. I'm very excited to be able to show you the craft room coming up. Um, super excited. Uh, so that'll be coming out. So once the craft room is done and I can show it to you, you'll start to see my face again. Nothing has changed about my face. It's just... Um, but this has been actually a mammoth job. Wow. I mean, seriously, mammoth job because I decided to really, really dive in and super clean and go through every box and every bin and everything that I've been doing. And I realized that I had, as things were coming in, they were going into this bin and that bin and that container and that container. And um, that's not a good way to find things. So fixing that, I'm very excited um, I can now find almost everything and I'm finishing up. But today it is not about crafts. Today is our travel Timu haul. Everything under a dollar. So we are, oh, I'm sorry with the camera. So we're getting ready our trip uh, for our trip to England to go back and see family, um, see my in-laws and my um, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my nieces and nephews and all those great things. So really excited, but, um, but we're going to be traveling and that's an eight, eight and a half hour plane trip each way. Super fun. So let's take a look at what I have been able to find. Um, found some really good stuff. This is not a huge haul, but it's not bad. So you may not have to go get drinks and things. You might, you know, you might have a chance to to get those things. All right. So the first thing I have for you, which I did not put a price on, this was like 40 cents, maybe 30 cents. I'm sorry. The price isn't on here. I thought I priced it. I think I priced everything else. Yeah. Everything else is priced. Okay. So I showed you some of these in the last haul, but in the bag that we got, um, I was not sure that I would get a pretty pink one. And I decided I wanted a pretty pink one. <laughs> so I got one. Um, so this is great because what this does, let me get this moving, is you put it around the strap. Huh? Let's see if I can get it. Anyway. There's only so far it's going to go up. But this is interesting. The way that this is made, this isn't going to go through here. That's weird. All right. So this piece is kind of locked in to that section. This isn't going back up. And that part of that is because when they when when I sew, so when they sewed this down, instead of sewing it really close to the edge of this, they sewed it pretty far away. Oh, maybe you can't even see what I'm doing. So this part should have been sewn much closer to this so that when you do it, it would go as far in as possible. But that's okay, all right. So what you do with this kind of a thing is you simply wrap it around the handle of your suitcase and then your suitcase becomes pretty easily identifiable. Um, we actually have some really nice luggage tags. Lug Did I say that right? Luggage tags, yep. But the other great thing about this is if we have an extra bag or something, Instead of trying to hold on to it, we can just hook the bag in here, hook this over the top, of, over your uh, handle, and then it's just carrying it for you. That's what I really, I've, I've traveled way too much to not appreciate that. So, okay, it's like 38 cents. Uh, so the next thing I have for you, this was 98 cents for, for these bags. I'll show you what they are. Look at this. You get one, I think it's five, two, three, four, yep, five bags. These are for your shoes. I'm gonna put that out of the way. Look, it's got actually one of those nicer bags. Okay, so these are for your shoes. So, um, honestly, it's pretty skinny though. My flip flops would fit in there, but I did not expect them to be so small. So if you have a smaller foot, I'm sure this will be no problem at all. Um, 
other than that, I don't know. I'll have to try them out, guys. I'll try this out and see. I do not think I can fit a whole pair of my shoes in there. But, um, other than, like I said, my flip-flops. Uh, but, um, no, Little Bird won't be able to either. Wow, this could be interesting. We'll see. Uh, I might have to use these for something else. I was hoping that they would, when they, I got it, that it would be like that big. But it's not. It's actually pretty skinny. So, hmm. Okay, well, that's intended for your shoes. But at 98 cents, I'm sure I can find something else to do with those nice little bags. They're basically just the good Timu bag, just made up like that. Next, this next one was 55 cents. I'm sorry about the crinkling today. I needed to keep them in the bag so that I could find the prices. And I know a lot of you don't like the crinkling. I don't either, really. But for this one, it was a necessity. Um, so this I may not use on this trip, but uh, but for other ones, uh, this actually I was thinking about just leaving in the car. So it's just really a nice, um, you put your, your uh, wet wipes or your tissue in here. I think it goes in here, yeah. So you slide your wet wipes in here, right? And then you close it. The biggest problem I have when I'm doing wipes, okay, so here's a little thing of them. Something like this, it comes off all the time. I lose this piece and then they dry out and then they're done. But with this one, I can go ahead and use it. Um, it's got another intersection here and I can seal it back up and this seals like so. Maybe get it in the right place. Okay, so it seals up really well. And then it's got this. And I was intrigued by having the nice bag, but also by having this where I can hook it onto something. So like I said, in particular, I'm thinking the car, but I was thinking the car. But now I'm considering actually taking it with us. Because I tell you what, when, when I fly, I don't want to go having to hunt for a place to wash my hands. I want that place to be right there, right in front of me, and wet wipes work very well. Okay. Um, I know I'm weird, but traveling with a little emergency blanket and a little first aid kit, I just don't think it hurts anybody. These were only 59 cents. So this is the, this is that specialized um, silver blanket thing. Uh, so it's waterproof and windproof and it'll reflect your body heat. And that's why it, that's how it's able to heat you up and keep you warm enough during these situations. So nice thing to have with you. And for, what do we say? For 59 cents, you, you know, where else are you going to get it for that? I don't know if they're still fit. Remember all of these prices were what I bought. This is what I got them for when I got them. I've actually had some of this even go down even go down in price. Okay, so next I'm going, something just going. Uh, next I'm gonna show you this little doohickey, 73 cents. I, I mean, I travel with a razor. I'm gonna, you know, shave my legs because otherwise, gross. Um, at least for me. But this, oh, it's interesting. I did not realize that it was Okay, so this is meant to hold your razor, you know, for you to travel, but I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, how does that help me if it's got big holes in it? So this was, I think I just told you guys, um, yeah, 73 cents. I'm not loving it. If I'm gonna, if I want a, something to carry my razor in, I want it completely enclosed so that I can throw it in after I've just used it and rinsed it, so. Yeah, that's a miss so far, just one. Okay, next, I have no idea what this is, I don't remember, but it was only 35 cents. <laughs> it was 35 cents. Let's see if we can figure out what this is. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it open. What does it say? Random color. 
35 cents. Oh, I actually do know what this is. As funny as that, as funny as that is, um, so you open it up and you see what's inside. This is a poncho. It's, you know, if it rains, you've got this cute little thing, cute little ball. You just attach it to whatever, a backpack or whatever you're carrying for the day. If you get a rainstorm, you open it up, you pop this guy open. You, there you go. You pop it open and you've got your little raincoat. Um, I thought I would get one of these just to see if there was any, you know, quality issues with it. And it, it's supposed to be like a long rain. It's not supposed to be a poncho. It's supposed to be like a long raincoat. Um, so we'll see. I will open it up. I'm sure somewhere in England because, you know, rainy. Should be rainy. We'll, we'll go with the should be rainy. Oh, I've got things tipping. We don't want things to tip. Okay. I'm trying to show you in some semblance of order. I picked up a pack of these little cool things here. Um, so these, this pack was 89 cents for, how many do we get in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like eight to 10. How many? 10. Let me take them out of there. If I can find the opening. You'll see the opening. Oh, there it is. It's further down. Okay. So I'm only going to take one out of here. So the reason I got these is because you actually do it like that. Okay. You see what I'm doing here? So I turned it around. You put it on here. It's got um, like a heavy duty steel wire inside of it. You just do that. And talk about latching something together or having something that will hold. It's almost like a little bike lock type thing. Um, so I probably will take these. I don't know why. I can't think right now where I might need them, but I might need them. I just think they're a great addition. Um, you know, if all else fails, this will hold your stuff. Um, let me see if I can get it off. There we go. The wrong way. So a bunch of these little guys. I think these are cool. I do. So I think those are going to be useful. Um, okay. Next, I I'm very excited about this. I am very excited. I bought a pack of these RFID protections. Uh um, container things. Anyway, 90 cents and I got how many in here? I don't know. Let's see how many we got in here. But these are the ones, these are the anti-theft um, RFD. What did we say? This was 90 cents for all of these. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's a great deal. Um, so you just put your card inside here and then someone walking past you can't scan it and duplicate it. If it's not in, if you if your credit card is not in an RFID protected sleeve, um, it should be because people are people. I mean, it's just an unfortunate reality. Yes, thank you, doggies. Um, actually, about two weeks ago, not quite two weeks ago, um, Big Brit's card was, it wasn't stolen, it was scammed. Um, so we've had to replace this card and it's been a mess, especially this close to, to leaving and we're still waiting for his card to come in. But, um, so that happened really recently and we don't know whether it was scammed by someone walking past where they just basically, they can have, it, you know, something in a purse that just reads whatever card they're nearest, um, or whether it was straight from the machine, but um, I just think that these are going to be really, especially when you're in big places like airports where it's so easy for someone to be using something like that. Um, so we got 10 of those. Um, you know, we don't need 10. We need a couple. So what I might do is use these in some of my other um, wallet things that I'm putting out. And let's move that over there. Okay. 
Next, this one was a whopping 60 cents. 60 cents. I mean, holy cow. Okay. So traveling, we're going to need to take along all of our wires, all of our, we each have a phone. Um, Little Brit and I both have uh, the uh, watches. Um, Big Brit just doesn't have them because he doesn't like them. Um, so all of those things, and my hearing aids, all of those things require cords. I'm, we're not worried about the plug-in, the wall type plug-in. Um, hopefully the house that we rented, they'll have some available for us. If not, um, our kids will have some or everybody has them um, in their homes. We're all Apple users. Um, anyway, yeah, so for 60 cents, I thought that was a great deal. And in particular, I'm going to make, this is going to be in my luggage um, or in my carry-on. So that we can, if we need to, we can charge from wherever we are. We'll carry this with the cords and then we'll carry a charging block. Because uh, I don't want to be stuck somewhere without, you know, sometimes planes don't fly out, things happen. That's just the way it is. I want my phone to stay charged. Okay, that over here with these things because I'm going to show you something bigger. So we're going to pull this back out again a little bit. All right, there we go. So next... So what, okay, now I don't remember what those were for because these are the shoe bags. Look at that. I don't know what those other ones were for. <laughs> They're just cool bags, I guess. They're just cool bags. So this one was 88 cents for five. 88 cents for five. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yes, this, these will hold our shoes. All right, that's a big difference. Okay, so your shoes go inside. They actually, it's actually really cute. Um, shoes go inside. I do like it's got this clear, clear plastic piece. These, I, you know, looking at this, I can tell. I mean, they're pretty cheap. They're, pre I mean, look what we paid for them. Uh, I mean, I don't expect them to last forever. They should last through this trip. Maybe the last another trip. Um, but we'll go ahead and use those. We all have to carry extra shoes with us just because we're going to be there for a while. And, you know, you generally need more than one pair of shoes, um, or at least I do. So, uh, yeah, so I'm excited about that. I think this one was a really good deal. So now I have to figure out what the heck. I'll figure it out. I'll try to add in a little notation about what those other bags are intended for, because now it's going to make me crazy. But, okay, so, yeah, these are pretty nice. Um, a decent size. I wear a size 11. Um, Big Brit and Little Brit wear a UK size 10, which is actually a men's. No, I'm sorry, UK 9, which is a men's 10 here. Just like my 11 is a 10. Literally, we can all wear the same shoes. But we all have pretty big feet. <laughs> so, not huge feet, but pretty big. All right. So those are fun. Let me put those over here. Okay, um, next, let's see, just a couple more things to go. So this next one was 79 cents. More word. 79, I really did find some good deals. 79 cents for my wash bag. Okay, this is decent plastic. You can see through it. This is actually a really nice um, quality strap. This is a stronger strap than this one. They are not made of the exact same stuff. This one is considerably thicker than this one. So this was awesome. This feels like fake leather, like a decent fake leather. Let's see if I can get it open. There we go. Okay, so, wow. That is a good amount of room. So whether I will use, I mean, to me, 
I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I may use it for, you know, for things that need to go in the laundry, but I may also, I, for me, a wash bag says I need to wash. So, <laughs> Um, I may, I may put our shampoos, so, uh, the bits of shampoo that we bring with us. I always, I'm like, I can be a bit of a nervous Nelly about, um, travel. So I do, I always overpack and I'm trying really hard not to do that. Cause going to the UK, you really don't get much luggage, which is silly, which is ridiculous. We had to pay extra just so we could bring a full size bag instead of just a carry on. We had to pay extra just to bring the carry on, um, which is nuts. So hopefully somebody will get control of that. All right. So last but certainly not least, I'm super excited about this. If I can get it open. So this next piece I'm going to show you was 89 cents. Okay. 89. Under a dollar. Look at that. This is a bag. Right? This is the one that goes across your chest. You can put it over your back if you want to, but you actually put it like right across your chest with a cross body. Um, it's got a jack here so that you can actually have your phone, um, your battery charger inside the bag, and you can just be charging from there. It is not intended to be very big. This, is po this pocket is big enough for your passport. So then you have, and I like that it's got this kind of protection up here. So you can really put, you can actually tuck the zipper pretty high in there. Can you see that? I hope that's really visible. So I like that I can tuck the zipper up and under here. Right? Because one of the ways that pickpockets get you is that your zipper is easily exposed. and It's easy for them to zip it down. If they have to fumble for it, they're not going to try. I mean, we're going, we're going to spend a day in London. I just pickpocket central, any big city. Um, okay, so looking at the side, that is a decent amount of space. And I actually normally do not carry a purse anymore. I used to. I used to carry a purse all the time. And I just, as I've gotten older, I'm just like, I don't need it. There's very little that I need to carry around with me, especially now that little Brit is so much older. So I stopped carrying a purse. Um, I actually stopped carrying a purse during covid because it just was so unnecessary. You weren't going anywhere. If you were, it was so so quick in and out. I just carried my phone, which has the, um, this is my, uh, case, my phone case, which has, you know, you open it up and it's going to have my credit cards and my stuff in it. So it's all attached to me. So this is plenty big for my phone. This is plenty big for my battery pack. I will carry along um, wipes. I will... Um, I probably won't carry this big. This is just too big, I think, to carry with me on this trip. But when we're going to the beach, I'm absolutely going to get a giant thing of wipes and put it in there. Um, so I will carry along a few little things in here. Um, I'll probably put my strap in here. So I don't know whether I'll need it, but we will. More than likely, we're going to go to the duty-free shops, um, especially at Heathrow. Oh, my word. If you guys have not been to Heathrow, if you have a chance to go through Heathrow... Uh, their duty-free shops are, when you get into the into the flight area of Heathrow, they just have fabulous shopping. Fabulous. There are a few others that are really good, too. Um, it's been a while since I was in the secure area of Dulles. I'm trying to remember how well they are. But I've been in some airports just all around the country when I was traveling, when I used to have to travel for my job. and um, And I've seen some really really amazing airports. Anyway, so you never know when you're going to need to carry something extra. So I might actually carry this and these just in case I have extra bags that need to be attached. And those are so small, they're going to fit right in here. So I love that this will be right across my chest, right in front of me. Um, I would never put it behind me. And I do love that this just goes right up and in here. So I'll be able to put, you know, my charging cord right through. Love that. Love, love, love that. All right. And the price for this one, what did I say it was again? Something like 89 It's not even a dollar. It's not even 90 cents. 89 cents. How? Anyway, it's it's wonderful. It's fabulous. So really got some, I'm, I'm really tickled with some of these deals. I've actually found a few others. So um, 
Next week, I think I have home goods. Maybe. What is next week? Anyway, um, next Saturday. And I am still waiting on another load of items from Timu. And I hope you guys like it. But one of the next doll, um, under a dollar Saturdays will be just jewelry. Just jewelry. What do you think? You think? Yeah? Okay. So thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed what I had to show you. And uh, don't forget to check out, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, please, 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 please subscribe because I've got more stuff coming for you constantly. Um, I try to get, I get videos out, I think from four times a week. Uh, and then we've got our Saturday Timu days uh, with our under a dollar series going on this, um, this summer. Um, so you're not going to want to miss it. You're not going to want to miss it. And I've got some big Timu hauls also coming in because I'm addicted to Timu, just literally addicted to them. Um, thanks so much for being with me today and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.